Let's browse to an example that's included with LabVIEW. Into our search field, enter Disable, and let's select Diagram Disable Structure. Let's take a look at the block diagram. What we have here is some code with a Diagram Disable Structure on it. That structure is available from the Structures palette, Diagram Disable Structure. And much like all the other structures we've used up to this point, it can be used by simply clicking and dragging within the block diagram. In this case, let's look what's inside the disabled structure. Here we see some code that is grayed out. It's grayed out because it is in the disabled state. Much like a case structure, if we look at this, there's another state called enabled. Here the enabled state has a wire which goes straight through from the input tunnel to the output tunnel. However, the disabled state has a multiply operation with an unwired terminal. Normally, an unwired terminal on the multiply block would cause the VI to be unrunnable, and therefore we would see the broken run arrow. However, here, because it's in the disabled state, it's essentially hiding that case, therefore the VI is ready to run. In fact, if we do so, we'll see that the result is in fact 3. If we right-click on the diagram disable structure, we have a few choices. One is to enable this sub-diagram. If we do so, then we've essentially swapped the enabled and the disabled state. Now, the disabled state, the grayed out state, is the one with the wire going straight through. The enabled state is the one with the unconnected multiply input. Therefore, our run diagram is not ready to go. We can, of course, swap it back to choose disable this sub-diagram. Remember, like any case structure, only one case can run at a time. Only one of the diagram disable structure cases can be executed at a time. Also, notice that we can add multiple sub-diagrams. It would allow us to maintain different pieces of code which are disabled for different reasons.